Hey, what's up, guys? Um, you guys wanted this video. I asked the Discord, and it was nothing but pure positivity. It was like 34 and 1 within like the first 10 minutes. Like 34 people wanted the video, one person didn't. And uh, I don't know who it was, but eh, he doesn't have to watch it. Um, I have a feeling this video is going to be very successful. This is basically going to be a runoff of my how to make a level 7 script executor, but this is on a simpler form, and it's going to be, you'll be able to use it for any game. So it's not necessarily a script executor, unless you want to turn it into that. I mean, there's, you can definitely make your own API for that. Um, but for this, um, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to make a very simple, simple symbol. This is probably going to be part one, it's going to be a two part video. This is going to be a very simple, uh, script executor not a script executor my bad um easy hack tool that you're gonna be making so you want to go to click visual c sharp or first you want to click new project in visual studio whatever you're using click visual c sharp if you don't have it installed there will be a button here saying like to install c sharp or whatever install it and then click windows 10 application name this um easy hack tool i'm just that's what i'm gonna call it and you just want to let it let it make the project i'll be back when it's made Alright guys, um, the project's made, so now we just have this blank form, and we don't just want a blank form, we actually want something that's really decent looking. So, I, you're probably not going to have to do this, but I'm definitely going to have to do this because I messed mine up a while back, so I'm going to go to project, you might want to do this just to make sure you're the set right. You want to click everything that's shown, um, and you want to make sure your um, target framework is set to net, or .NET Framework 4.6.1, and I'm just going to hit yes, and I'm going to give him it. For some work. Um, okay. Now you want to click form one. Let's see this design. Now, this is where you're going to have to install this. So I'm going to post a link in the description where you can download this. This is very optional, but I think it really helps. So you want to go to here, then you want to go to add. Like you, okay, here we yeah, I didn't really explain that very well. You want to go to easy hack tool, right click it, or whatever your name is, and then click new reference, or just reference. And you'll have a bunch. You want to click browse. And mine's on my desktop. Yours will be wherever you put it um, after you download it. So you just want to find it. Um, it's called Teen. Um, this is made just so you can uh, make your stuff look a lot more like like pretty, I guess. You want to go to Toolbox. Mine's gonna take a second to load up.
make sure you have the whole thing selected not just this we want to have the whole thing selected and you want to scroll all the way all the way down and it's going to say color scheme and dodger blue so you're going to change this to dark and what i don't really like this i mean i like the blue color but i like to go a little bit more out and i think red looks really good with the dark so why is it loading so slow holy shit that looks cool but like holy shit okay uh help help Okay, I have no idea what just happened. Yep, now you, I guess this is what you get when you code. What? Just. Okay, okay. Alright, I just had to control Z a few times. Um, no, I'm gonna do, redo that now. I'm actually just gonna type in here red. Just so I, don't, I can, like, save myself the trouble. Now you wanna come down here, make sure you have the whole thing selected, once again. Um, and I'm just gonna do red. It's kinda cool. Okay. So, first of all, we have this tab page one, right? And when you click this, obviously there's no text and it's how we can change it. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure, you can click on these by the way, but you wanna click on it and then you wanna click on this box and that allows you to change the name of the tab page. So I'm gonna set this one to home. And then I'm gonna set this one to mods. All right, so now I'm gonna come up here and they don't actually have a custom label, but it kinda does because if you just drag a label onto it, it automatically like takes in the font. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drag this label on, um, and you might want to just put like a little, like, a little like quote here. So, so um, for example, for LX we have scripting done the right way, so I just put that. You can put whatever you want here. Okay, so once you have it there, now you can uh, go towards this font. Don't mess with the actual font, but you can change the size of it, something like 18. Oh, if it doesn't work like that, then actually just change it in the text form like we did the color. So I'm going to do 17.65. So if it's really hard to like get it centered, you might want to actually just use the arrow keys and inch it into where it's in the correct spot. So for this, we have scripting on the right way. So like, okay, so if we run this, it might take a minute to run since it's like your first time running. I'm just going to make sure I'm still recording. I am. All right. So... We're gonna give it a minute. While this builds, I'm actually gonna show you the game we're gonna be making a hack for. Uh, it's called Bomber Defense. It's just some really dumb game I got in like a Steam key, like random thing. While that opens up, oh, that's the wrong application. Let me go back. Okay, there's I Bomber Defense or whatever. Okay, so now we have this um, the program opening. It's being a little bit laggy. Okay, so whenever it's orange, it, that usually means that it's like gonna be up, popping up in just a second. Okay, here it is. So this is scripting done the right way. We have the attach button, mods, and home tab. We don't have an exit button yet, so we're gonna add that in a second. Um, so another thing I noticed is when I click the attach button, it was blue, so we're just gonna change that to red. Okay. Oh, I just, I am, I literally just typed in red. Oh, okay. I just typed in blue, I'm retarded. Okay, so we have this game open. So I'm gonna actually turn the music down because it's like really obnoxious. Okay. So this is the game I'm gonna be making it for. It'll, it'll be different for whatever game you're making it for. Um, if you wanna make something like this for Roblox, there's a bunch of checks that you have to go through and bypass because Roblox is actually has decent security. Unlike this game, where you could do something like this and just easy hack, I'll just show you real quick. Um, for this game, you could do something like with Cheat Engine. Alright guys, um, so I see my video stopped recording around when I had nothing in the mods and nothing in the home section. So I'll show you guys what I've done so far. Okay. So I added in this tab right here, and it's basically, this is basically a text box that I'm going to need to set to read only so nobody can edit it. Um... And it says thanks for using easy hack tool um, build one. This is a test for YouTube video I'm currently making. Or ignore this message or your mom get the basic stuff. You can and also I said you could um, put a change log here as well. This would make a good home tab. Um, and this is for the game uh, I Bomber Defense. This one right here. I'm making it for this. You can make it for any game, um, but I'm making it for this game. So um, what I was. What was I about to say? Okay. Nope, that's the wrong tab. I'm retarded. Anyways. Okay, so what I did was I opened Cheat Engine, right? And right as I opened Cheat Engine, 
right as the um, administrator tab thing came up, it just blacked out my screen. So it didn't necessarily stop recording. It just kind of went black the rest of the recording. And I like restart OBS since it was terrible. Anyways, I'm not going to start up OBS, but I am going to show you what I did. So, um, uh, I'm just going to show you real quick what I did. Okay, without actually opening Cheat Engine, because, you know, I just told you what that did. Anyway, anyways, I'm going to show you the mods that we're going to be making. We're going to be able to set the wave to what we like. We're going to be able to set our money, our score, and we're going to be able to set the title of the window. We're going to have a speed hack and a force close. Okay, so basically how this is going to work is we're going to find the static address for 80, okay? By doing that, you'll have to, you know, do all the basic cheat engine stuff where you change it, search it up, all that. And get the address for each one. And every time it changes, and now that we're 31, we'd find it, you know. Uh, I'm saving up for a new computer, so there might be ads on this video. Sorry about that. I really do need a new computer, though, because my recording is pretty garbage. And I can't stream, and I really want to stream, so, you know. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.